Okay, today we're going to talk about kayak musky release tools and strategy. And I just want to stress the most important thing is to wear a PFD. And wear a PFD all the time. You know, you shouldn't be out without one. Okay, so the first thing to remember always have your release tools lined up on deck for easy access. You never ever want to have them, you know, in a hatch or in a bag or behind you where they're hard to reach. I keep mine right underneath my, my legs. And the first thing you're going to need is pliers. These are a pair of floating needle nose type pliers that I purchased on eBay. These are very useful. When they go over the side I get them back. This is what I use. A good pair of needle nose pliers. Something you feel comfortable with. Second thing you're going to need is a jaw spreader. You don't need it very often. But when you need a jaw spreader, you really need it, and you should carry one of these as well. Next thing you're going to need is a pair of scissors. These are Fiskars Fish and Game Shears. I really like these. I've had them for years. Sometimes, you know, kind of, kind of rarely, a fish will be coiled up in the leader. So a pike or muskie will be thrashing in the net and coiled up in the leader. And you don't want the fish to be injured. And what you do is you'll use these scissors to cut the leader. And those coils of line will just fall away. Very, very useful. Another item you're going to need. One of these. This one's called the fish grip. It's a, it's a fish holder. It's used to latch onto the lower jaw of the fish. You know, this is like the, like the um, jaw spreaders. I don't use it that often. However, it has a very special use. If there's a big fish in the net and I can't remove the lure, what, what I'll do sometimes is I'll latch onto the lower jaw and hold the fish against the gunnel. And then with my other hand, with my other hand, I can use the pliers to, to remove the hook, remove the lure. And I'll add, you know, if you're going to use this with a muskie, really hold on tight. Because the fish, the fish are very strong. And, and I'd say only, only use this if you, if you need to, to handle a fish in the net. I'll add it's used in, infrequently. The next item, one of the most important items is a pair of bolt cutters. Let me kind of spin around this one. The bolt cutters are just so important. In fact, the bolt cutters are so important, they're attached to the kayak. So no matter what happens, I'm going to know where, where they are. So, you know, there are many types available. There are more expensive ones than this. You might want to buy a pair and practice cutting some hooks. Um, you know, that might give you some confidence that the bolt cutters work. So the first use of these, if you find yourself hooked, you're going to use your bolt cutters to cut yourself free. And if you're hooked to a lure and that lure is hooked to a pike or a muskie, I can guarantee you, it is really going to hurt. And you need these accessible, you know, so you can get them instantaneously. Very useful to have, a very important piece of safety equipment. Another use for the bolt cutters, if a fish is hooked in a certain way and the body, the body of the lure is is making it hard to access the treble hooks you can use your bolt cutters to cut away the body of the lure and I've done that it works really well then with the with the lure out of the way you can go in with your pliers and remove those 
those remaining treble hooks. And that's, that's a very useful strategy. You know, cutting treble hooks, you know, big deal. You know, you buy, buy hooks by the box, right? It's not a problem. Then the other thing to mention, let me see here, is a net. You really need a full-sized musky net. This is the one I carry. With the previous kayak, I had a bungee that held it in place. In this case, I don't need a bungee. I've, I have a clip up towards the bow that I just pull out. I mean, you can see how I have a line where I can pull the handle, um, pull the handle out, it'll lock in place, and that's my my net. And this has um this has worked out pretty well. And a net is very very important in a kayak. You can't rely on just using one of these or. A boca grip, you really shouldn't be using boca grips for for musky. That's that's not a not a good idea. Um, get yourself a good size net. So I wanna I wanna end this video and and stress a stress a few things. Lay your release tools out on deck so they're within easy reach. Always wear a PFD. Bolt cutters are very important. If, if, if you find yourself hooked and you don't have bolt cutters to cut yourself free, your, your, your options are going to be limited. So, so pick up a pair of these and take them with you all the time. And a net, make sure you have a big musky sized net. You know, I'm pretty confident whatever type of kayak you have, you should be able to figure out a way to rig, rig something up to hold the net in your kayak. And lastly, and I'll repeat what I said earlier, wear a PFD. That is just so important. So the season's ending here. We've had fall turnover. Water temperature's dropping. It's 49.2. Fall fishing is always interesting. You know, you can come up with nothing. But on the other hand, some of my biggest fish have been caught in the fall. So I want to wish everybody good luck and be safe out there.